Hello friends in this video 10 amazing views of the universe captured by the James Webb Space Telescope and their details will be presented. Please watch the full video. Number 1. In this image, released on November 16, 2022, a burning cosmic hourglass hides a new star, or protostar, at its heart. The burning scene was hidden from telescopes by a dense, dark cloud of gas and dust known as L1527 and is only visible in infrared light. The near-infrared camera, NERCOM, aboard JWST revealed Taurus in all its glory within the star-forming region. Number 2. The Pandora Cluster, about 3. 5 billion light-years away, shines in unprecedented detail in this image captured by JWST's powerful near-infrared camera, NIRCAM, and near-infrared spectrograph, NIRSpec, instruments as part of the ultra-deep NIRSpec and NIRCAM observations, discover, program. It produced a panoramic image consisting of a stunning 50,000 infrared light sources. Number 3. JWST's first image of Neptune shows the ice giant in spectacular detail, rings and all. The image gave astronomers their best look at Neptune in 32 years, since NASA's Voyager 2 spacecraft flew past on its journey outside the solar system. Bright patches in Neptune's southern hemisphere are high-altitude ice clouds that reflect sunlight before absorbing the cloud's methane. Number 4. On September 26, 2022, NASA's double asteroid redirection test, DART, destroyed a probe on an asteroid called Dimorphos to move the space rock into orbit. Dimorphos is part of a binary system that includes the larger space rock Didymos. JWST watched the action unfold and captured a series of images showing how the Didymos Dimorphos asteroid system brightened after the DART spacecraft hit the innocent moon. Number 5. In this impressive image, a never-before-seen young star in the Tarantula Nebula, officially named 30 Doradus, is revealed for the first time. JWST's high-resolution infrared camera shows stellar nurseries in fine detail, as well as distant background galaxies. The Tarantula Nebula is located in the Large Magellanic Cloud about 161,000 light-years away. This is of interest to astronomers studying star formation because the chemical composition of the nebula is similar to that of star-forming regions when the universe was only a few billion years old. The Tarantula Nebula gives astronomers a unique view of how stars formed in the relatively early universe. Number 6. This JWST image of the Phantom Galaxy, formerly known as NGC 628 or Messier 74, has been called a perfect spiral by some astronomers because the galaxy is so symmetrical. The image was processed by Judy Schmidt using data collected with JWST's mid-infrared instrument, MIRI. The galaxy has been imaged multiple times before using instruments like the Hubble Space Telescope and the Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer, WISE, but this JWST image shows the galaxy in a whole new light. Number 7. JWST surprised scientists when it captured these images of six mature galaxies. The small red dots are galaxies from the infancy of our universe, just 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. Although such galaxies themselves are not surprising, astronomers found them surprisingly large and the stars in them very old. The discoveries contradict existing ideas of how the universe looked and evolved in its early years, and do not match previous observations made by Webb's less powerful predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. Number 8. When JWST set its sights on a target a little closer to home, astronomers were delighted with the results. This composite image of Jupiter was captured with the observatory's near-infrared camera, NIRCAM, and shows the Jovian system in spectacular detail. Here you can see the beautiful aurora around the poles and the faint ring circling the gas giant. Two of Jupiter's moons are also visible, Amalthea is the bright dot on the left, and Adrastea is the faint dot at the edge of the rings, between Amalthea and Jupiter. Number 9. This star-studded image of a solitary dwarf galaxy named Wolf Lundmark Malo, WLM, was captured by JWST's near-infrared camera. The WLM is an attractive target for astronomers because it is one of the most distant members of the local galaxy group, which includes our Milky Way. Due to its isolated nature, the WLM is unlikely to interact with other systems, making it a prime target for astronomers wishing to study and test theories of galaxy formation and evolution. Number 10. JWST once again thrilled the scientific community when it turned its attention to Titan, Saturn's largest moon. The observatory was able to capture Titan's dense methane clouds during an observation on November 4, 2022. 
One of the clouds, Cloud A, is located above the Kraken Sea, which is Titan's largest hydrocarbon sea. The Keck Observatory in Hawaii observed the scene a few days later to understand how clouds change over time. I hope you guys liked the video, if you want to watch the video, please comment.